Welcome to another episode. So there are many different ways you can clean your rocks. Uh, you could clean them with just some dish soap and just scrubbing them. You can soak them in bleach or vinegar or baking soda or anything like that. But I've all these methods I've tried and they just don't seem to work all that well. Besides, you know, just scrubbing them with some dish soap, but it doesn't really get into the crevices very well. So before we get to the method that did actually work with for me, First, we need some dirty rocks that are just straight out of the creek. So let me show you those first. Here's the container with all the rocks in them. And as you can see, the liquid has turned fairly yellow. This was completely clear when I put them in there. They've been soaking in here for about two weeks now, which is honestly longer than you need to. You don't have to soak them for quite that long. Maybe like three to five days is often enough, but we were out of town, so didn't get a chance to take them out. So all I'm gonna do from here is just take them out individually. I'm not really too worried about neutralizing them, but if you want to do that, because there's really nothing that can get damaged, even if there is a little bit of acid that stays active on this. But if you want to neutralize them, you can put them in some baking soda and that'll neutralize the acid. I'm just gonna take them out and rinse them off. All right, so here are all the rocks cleaned up now. And at this point in the video, if you just want to know what I've used to clean all these rocks, you don't care about the results. The acid I've used is called citric acid. You can find it in most grocery stores. You can order it online, whatever is convenient. It is not perfect, however, and that's what I want to showcase first. You can see it doesn't actually take out the hard solid rock out of pocket. You still need to use like a sewing needle or something like that to take that out so I'll have to use that to this one I didn't do that initially putting it in but that's okay it does it does clean up the rocks very well you can see a lot of the staining has been removed 
the yellow, the yellow staining and the algae. I have some examples that are especially good. Like this one, that pocket really pops, really clean up nicely. Doesn't damage the rocks, which is nice. It doesn't clean out all these itty bitty pockets though. You can still see like little bits of dirt. I have some more where you, that's a little bit more visible like that. Like it doesn't take out all these little pockets, but this is not a super strong acid. Uh, I don't know if I'd really need or want to go any stronger than this. Like you can use stuff like muriatic acid, but that's really strong stuff. And maybe one day I'll use it, but you got to take a lot more, a lot, many more precautions when you're using the really, really strong stuff. But overall, I am very happy with how these rocks come out. This one especially was very discolored. The citric acid took all of that off, off of the rind primarily, and made it very nice and white. So it's like a white chalcedony on the outside. Really a cool rock. Without the staining now. This was my favorite that I actually found that day. Really nice bending in there. You can see that the outer husk is nice and clean now. I do feel like it makes that bending pop a little bit more. Which is always nice. One of the ones that I've actually seen the most results in isn't that one. It's this one. Completely clean now. This is quite discolored and a lot dirtier. The citric acid really cleaned this one up very nicely. It's really, yeah. Uh, It's really a very pretty one. Lots of good color in that one. This is another one. It came out real well. A lot of these specks that you see here are actually on the inside of the rock. They're not even on the outside, which is going to be a little bit hard to tell, I'm sure, but yeah. Most of these are actually on the inside of the rock. This is another one that cleaned up real well. This looked like mostly host rock with a little bit of chalcedony mixed through it, but it actually turned out to be a lot of chalcedony. It's cleaned up real well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you. Hopefully you'll try citric acid for yourself. And hopefully it works out for you as well as it does for me. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Tot de volgende keer. I really like this one. I think it's very pretty.